to that deadly road in Lakeland. In just the past month, two people have been killed on West Pipkin Road. Good evening and welcome to ABC Action News at 5. I'm Nadine Yanis. Paul is off tonight. And I'm Lauren St. Germain. Thanks for joining us. We covered safety concerns earlier this month and delays in upgrades after a school bus hit and killed a 15 year old riding his bike to school. And tonight our Polk County reporter Rebecca Petit speaks to the family of the person who was hit and killed on Christmas Eve. She's not going to come back home now. Christmas was filled with sorrow for the family of Leslie Stone. She was hit while riding her wheelchair to the store on Christmas Eve. She loved her kids. She was looking forward to having Christmas dinner with them and opening her gifts with the kids. Pam Winces tells me her 40 year old daughter never made it back home. You Knowing she was hit by a drunk driver that made the choice to drink and drive and kill my daughter is hard to accept. It's hard to deal with. And I keep waiting on her to walk through that door. Winces is now grappling with the loss of two children in a few short years. According to the Polk County Sheriff's Office, Stone was riding down West Pipkin Road near Fairfield Drive in Lakeland when Howard Bennett of Plant City struck and killed her with his car. Deputies say his blood alcohol content was nearly twice the legal limit. If you leave the house, that could be your last time seeing your family. It's scary. This is the second pedestrian death on West Pipkin Road this month. The segment of road where Stone was killed has no sidewalks. County officials tell me six foot wide concrete sidewalks are upgrades that will be part of a road widening project, but the work is not expected to be complete until next November. Stone's sister says the road improvements are not coming fast enough, and she believes it played a part in her death. They should focus on putting a sidewalk in with the railing for pedestrians or disabled people like my sister. Now she's pushing the county to find a way to speed up fixes. I'm Polk County reporter Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.